Hey, what's up KI peeps? I'm here to go over the latest ultimate pack for Killer Instinct. This is the ultimate's monster pack including Agonos, Mira, Saberwolf, Hisako, and Glacius. These ultimates are special finishers for special requirements. To perform one, you must have a supreme victory, which means don't lose a round. The next condition is to perform your ultra combo. Press light kick and light punch at the same time and this will trigger the special animation for the ultimate finisher. So back in late June, we got a video about the patches and updates about Killer Instinct. And last but not least was the reveal of Agano's ultimate. Alright, so let's break down the ultimates. Agano beats his opponent and brings out the Peacemaker Club and slams it to the floor. It causes a summon series of stone pinners to trap the opponent. Agonos becomes the natural disaster which rolls into a ball form and rolls his way through the opponent's path. Agonos will smash from above resulting in Agonos being the last one standing. This one was okay. I'm enjoying the animations of these ultimates. I honestly thought of a game of bowling when I first saw this ultimate. Strike! <laughs> Have you confessed your sins? Alright, in late July, Mira was the next character to be on VO with the ultimate. Once her ultra starts, the ultimate animation shows her twirling around showing some attacks with her blood abilities including the Reaping Scythe. She then gently embraces her opponent and tilt them off screen to have them binding, ending with her satisfied with her bloodthirst. Um, this one is okay. Her attacking sequence works fine, but the off screen part is a major buzzkill. And this will be a repetitive scenario that I will bring up unfortunately. Mira is a fun character and getting the ultimates could be challenging since she gets blood loss from her blood attacks. So I don't know how I feel about getting an average ultimate after meeting the supreme victory conditions to perform her ultimate. For those who don't know what I'm talking about, her mediums and heavy attacks will drain her health. It could come back if she embraces her opponent by sucking their blood, but it's a chore in my opinion. The next ultimate is coming from Saberwolf. He goes in his berserk mode which you see him twitching a little bit. He's slashing back and forth and then rages. He then hops and reaches his opponent with the ultimate slash, leaving claw marks on the screen. The camera shows Saberwolf slowly gaining conscious as he looks back at the camera with wide open eyes. This one's pretty okay too. In a way it kind of reminds me of Shadow Jago's ultimate with the back and forth slash attacks. Which, it's a great comparison because I actually love that ultimate. Once again, the finishing blow is off screen, but still satisfying and it doesn't suffer from it. Okay, the next one is Hisako. First thing we get is a close up of her after her ultra animation. She does her creepy crawl walk thing that she does. Then she just sinks in the ground, the opponent looks lost and confused not knowing that she's right behind him. She possesses the opponent and just messes them up badly. I mean, damn. Yeah, I don't think they will be getting up from that. And the big money shot is the jump scare in the end. I love it. First thing first, I'm gonna be completely biased. This one is awesome. Not only is Hisako my favorite character, but her ultimate is great. I also love the horror vibes that it gives, which is something I always loved about Hisako to begin with. <laughs> the last ultimate to be revealed was Glacius. He will form two giant ice fists and straight give the opponent a slugfist like a boxing match. Glacius then shatters the ice causing the opponent to be launched in the air. He later creates a ice clone to create ice spikes on the ground. The opponent falls on the spike, however, 
the camera shifts to Glacius, so it's another off-screen ultimate. Just like most of the ultimates I went over, the execution of the ultimate is good. But the disappointment is mainly on the off-screen finish and blow. So overall, the ultimates are pretty good. If I was to rank them all, they would be all nearly neck to neck. But if I was to pick them from worst to best, it would be Mira, Glacius, Agonos, Saberwolf, and Hisako. Of course Hisako would be my favorite one, so yeah. The ultimate monster pack is now available at the Killer Instinct store for free, so take advantage of it and download it. So that's all the ultimates review including Shadow Jago. Maybe sometime in the future I will rank all the ultimates in another video. But for now I have videos breaking down the previous ultimate packs. Thanks for watching the video, I probably will have a post season 3 review video for Killer Instinct soon. Because I think it's safe to assume that we are done with any content. But if there's any news, better believe that this channel will have videos about any update on the game. Anyways, let's wrap up this video. Like the video if you liked it, comment on your thoughts on the ultimate and feel free to post your favorite ultimates. Hit the bell for notifications and subscribe cause I upload constantly. I am out. Peace. To your God. Hey, interested in some Kinder Instinct gear? Check out the apparel at 86 website. They have shirts with Hisako, Glacius, Thunder, and many more. Don't like Killer Instinct? That's cool. 86 also has some cool stuff from Street Fighter, Guilty Gears, Blaze Blue, Skull Girls, and many more. The website link is in the description.